guys welcome back to more punch club my name is raven from the sky thank you for your support Let's Oh, I didn't mean that. That's strength. Why the devil? No, I, it's not letting me. I'm trying to do the pull up bar. There we go. have any one thing to really focus on stamina and see I'm so sick of that darn <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> you're in the fact that it hinders you when I get the ability to get those energy drink drinks back I'm gonna do it free food look at that we can't get no energy back that's false food always supplies energy unless it's completely artificial and even that to give you a quick burst of, of, of like 10 15 minutes they, they kind of man it's almost rigged this, this darn game that's what gets on my nerves that's the one thing I don't like about it right. did we reset the oh wait that's one thing we didn't do this. That's for strength and stamina, for strength builds. Well, at least have my stamina up to uh, eight, seven or eight. Seems to be odd because I, I got the things so that we can't go past nine. So between seven and nine, we should be good. where that is where you can't muscle memory the strength won't go below four uh, that way I can I don't have to worry about my stamina or strength dropping I'm trying to some motivation to, where is it Four. That'd be good, but mm. about thirty percent. We should nab that one next. I ain't gonna lie. Control Fury and Rice Eater. These two. Let's see if we reset the timer on this stump here. Yeah, we did. Look at that. 153 lost. That is completely rigged. That's almost detrimental to sleep. See, if I would have kind of did the uh, scientific approach in the beginning of the game, I would have just bought a bunch of energy drinks and, and slabs of meat. It's just like it's detrimental to sleep in this game or something and to me that's garbage because in reality because you know sleeping is your best friend it's counterproductive to keep training and not sleep but this game is encouraging you to train and not sleep because every time the day ends you lose something that's why if you guys uh, remember you know talking about like this easy mode you don't suffer the uh, the, the uh, penalties you get at the end of each day so you could have an OP fighter in the beginning of the game and just coast through the game, but you don't get those trophies that is before. And I see I want the trophy, so maybe if I do a, another playthrough, I'll play it on easy mode just to kind of get through. But I want to kind of do it the right way for you guys. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a fight in before we sleep. 
Okay, if you think you're ready. Actually, he's, gonna, he's a philosopher. Okay, see, so he's an agility guy, so. He's not gonna really be striking much, though. So we can take that off and add. Actually, where's the... Any dodges? Oh, we actually want to keep that on. This... Pure damage. Okay, um... Alright, we'll keep this set. Let's see what happens. Because he's an agility like we are. Okay, oh, ooh, ooh! We're starting out pretty good. Oh, that's better than I thought we was going to do. But see, we are higher in strength and agility, but he's got more stamina than we do. That's why I said it pays to have some strength, but we don't have to have it up to like 12, like, you know. We got it. Boom. You earned my respect. Now can you tell me everything you know about my father and the medallion? Yes I can. Here's what you need to know about your father. Your father was a wise man, but he loved you and your brother too much. I think this love cost him his life. We swore to protect the medallion. We all knew of its power. father decided it would be a good idea to use it. He loved you and your brother. He decided to split the medallion into two halves and gave each one of you a half. But we knew that it was an awful idea. You just cannot give a powerful medallion to children. We don't even know if this split medallion will work. We have to take the medallion from you over my dead body. When my sons grew up, grow up, it will be truths. What? I missed that. John was accused of killing your father. The police found his fingerprints on the gun. But I'm sure he is innocent. Mick took the medallion and I decided to leave the punch club and move to the far side of the world. Maybe my father had enemies. Maybe someone wanted to take the medallion. He had no enemies, and I'm sure no one knows about the medallion outside the Punch Club. Wow. I hope my story helps you find the killer of your father. That's crazy. So that means one of them in the circle could betray him. But you still need to beat Ivan Geef. I heard he is strong as a bear. The last test for you should be a fight with a real bear. If you're victorious, then you have a chance against Ivan Geef. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sleep. See, look at that. Anything, anytime resting should benefit. Unless, you know, you get too OP. Now I can understand they're penalizing you for like, we were, we had four strength, 17. If I was like at 19, 20 plus agility and like nine stamina and eight strength at this portion of the game. And we're not even near the end yet. You know what I mean? I can see them kind of penalizing us and making us choose and the duck and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, this is borderline rigged. And we're gonna get penalized again. Cause you're gonna lose the work we just, we worked so hard for just to get it back. I almost should have put this on cupcake difficulty not care about those stupid trophies. Cause it's a pain in the butt. I do appreciate the game kind of opening up to us anyway with the free food and not having to worry about you know work and uh, 
the cost and stuff like that, gym cost and all that. When we got free equipment, pretty much had it at home, but this is better. We don't have to worry about none of that stuff. We're not on the time constraint either. I like that too. I was like, we can fight whenever we want to. Whenever we think we're ready, we can take that challenge. And fight the better. Alright, um, guy's a little bitish and he's tired of that training regiment, so let's go. That's in Perolski. Fill that with soy meat or soy chicken or something. And yeah, have like vegetable soup, lentil soup, rice and lentil soup, and meat. That's just my personal choice, you know what I mean? You guys do you. Last test. I want to kind of get us to 18. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Just past 18. Um, 27. So we could nab something. We could nab. Oh no. We would have to get this first uppercut. I know that strength guy is gonna be a, uh, I mean the bear is gonna be a strength guy. Maybe we should get this penetrating strike and then get cool headed. Let's see. Alright. And then I'll nab this the next time. That we can maximize our training efforts. All right. Um, let's see if you'll let us do it. Okay, if you think you're ready. I think I hear a bear roaring. Teddy. All right, so we can... He's not really blocking. He's gonna come at us full force, heavy handed. Okay. Oh! Look how much damage he does. Ooh! -hoo! There we go. That's what I was banking on him gassing out. Because he. Ooh, -hoo. nice with the knockdown. I think we pretty much got this. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, we got it. You dealt with that small bear. He was huge and scary. I'm, I know, right? Small, scary. You should have seen my ex-wife. <laughs> Seriously though, your next fight will be against Even Geef. Make sure that you're ready. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop it here. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Punch Club. If you like this episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and series grow. My name is Raven from the Sky, and I'll catch you guys in the next